All right, I'm between time crunches here because this place don't have a cake. And like I said, my neighbor's birthday is today. Somehow the kids forgot her birthday and she's older and I don't like seeing, you know what I'm saying, others down. If I could do for somebody else what I wish someone could do for me, then I'm going to do it because I know sometimes I wish I had the shit that I do for others done for me. So makes me feel good when I get to do it for somebody else even though it doesn't get done for me does that make sense I don't know I hope it does but yeah so like I just would appreciate it you would just leave me the hell alone like I'm entitled to feel however I feel I'm entitled to express whatever I would like to express however I would like to express it and on that note screw everybody Whoever's watching my videos and is feeling like they want to cause drama between myself and the kid's dad and state that I'm bashing him and, and state all this extra drama, just do know and please do understand this, that by causing these extra issues, you're not affecting me. Because let me tell you something, realistically speaking, I can give two fucks, okay? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day... I'm not going to let nobody affect me because it's going to take me away from my kids. And I'm not even letting my own kids affect me. That's how serious I am about this. Because I know my health counts on it. So I'm not even letting them affect me. I'm not letting nobody make me yell at them for nothing. But do understand this. That at the same time that you out here sending videos or doing whatever. Or trying to go into their is their dad's head. You are fucking up their relationship with their dad. You're fucking up their ability to spend time with their dad. So congratulations on the type of person that you are, whether it is a male or a female. But I'm going to guess that you are a female. Because see, only grimy as dirty as females do things like this. Especially when you want to get into somebody else's pants. And you're trying to get into somebody else's pants or you think those pants belong to you that's the only time females do things like this so you know what you want to say i'm bashing somebody so how about if i'm bashing you i don't even know who you are or if you exist but if this is where it comes to then how about let's say i'm bashing you because both my daughters and my son love their dad very motherfucking much and they love the relationship that they have and that is all that matters to me. And as long as they are happy, I am happy. The moment they are not happy, that is when I have a problem. Outside of that, that is all that I care about. So, do know that you're not hurting me. Please do understand that. When people play with people like this, you're hurting the children. And how dirty can a person be that you play with kids like that? That's what I don't understand. And then what I... I'm gonna stay quiet on that part because then it's gonna seem like I am trying to bash, but I'm not. So I'm gonna just stay quiet on that part. But personally, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. Again, my opinion, personally, in my opinion, I wouldn't deal with a person who has problems with my children. And my children's father knows where I'm coming from with this. He also knows the type of female that I am. So my older kids didn't even know I was dealing with him until a whole year after we were dealing with each other. Because I have a daughter, I don't bring people in. So let me break it down to y'all like this, and I already said it before. My daughter only seen me with her father until I met my son's father. And she accidentally met my son's father. I miscalculated that. That was a whole jacked up moment. My son's father wanted to get his hair braided. And it was actually my ex-husband. So I just should just seriously just call him my ex-husband. Um, my ex-husband wanted to get his hair braided. I needed to get Vivar to get her hair braided. There was only one other person that I would trust to do her hair besides me. 
and at this time, obviously, I'm already pregnant, so I was tired. Um, I was at the beginning of my pregnancy, I think, or like in my second trimester or whatever. And I, for some reason, the pregnancy brain kicked in, didn't realize that I was already at the house finishing her year, and I brought him to get his done, and yet somewhere around there, it didn't click on me until we arrived at the house, and I was like, oh, shit. Too late to play it off now, because they was not going to let me go. And she only saw me, like I said, with her dad and my ex-husband. And the only other person she considers her dad, her dad now. The person she asked to adopt her. The man that she literally calls her dad and literally looks at like her dad. That is the type of person that I am. That is the type of female that I am. So I wouldn't be around somebody that's not going to accept or support my kids. That's just who I am. Just like I wouldn't be in a relationship with a person who's not being respond taking care of their responsibilities and I wouldn't and I I would have to help back them up, like you know what I mean? Like when I was in a relationship with my last dad, he obviously had kids before me because he was married before me so he had I think that was number six for him so he had five kids prior to me and I made sure that he was doing for his kids I made sure he was picking them up I made sure I mean at one point I had you no know, I was raising three of his kids like that if, if I'm with you and if you're a dad then obviously I'm supposed to support you and at one point, I didn't get along with the ex-wife, but then we got along. Because why there's kids involved, you feel me? We, there's no reason why we should not get along. There's no reason why we can't all be there for the birthdays. We can't all be there for the functions. Like, that's just the way I look at shit. But this is not, that's not where my life is at right now. Like, that's not my story. I'm just putting examples on how I look at things. How I see things. I'm not a petty ass, childish ass chick. I don't play those games. That's not me. It's never been me. I'm not a bitter ass chick. If I let something go, I let it go for a reason. Nothing was taken from me. I let it go for a reason. There's a reason why I let it go. Like, I'm not a bitter person. I literally am a cool ass fucking person. But if you do me dirty, that's a whole nother story. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't pretend that my life is not my life. I can't pretend that I don't feel what I feel. I can't sugarcoat what I'm going through. Like, what am I supposed to do? Pretend that I'm not homeless? Pretend that I'm not struggling? Pretend that I'm not going through financial issues? Like, pretend that I'm not doing this on my own? Pretend that, like, every day and every night it ain't a freaking struggle? Like, I'm not understanding. I'm trying to make the best out of my situation. I still need my battery. I still need to get a world change. Like, you know what it is that these strangers where we live at have actually stepped up since that Father's Day to really try to help me and the kids? And they don't know us from Adam because they see Baba struggling and Delano struggling and Lyrical. Like, I've had no choice but to, for the first time ever, really rely on somebody that I don't freaking know. For the first time ever. Like, that is completely out of my comfort zone. And I'm not comfortable with that. And I'm not okay with that. Like, I feel like I owe these people so much just because something so simple but it means a lot to me because at the same time they're taking some pressure off of my kids and that's why I'm trying so hard to like hurry up and do what I got to and now mind you if I have to go do this surgery oh this video too long we're gonna put another video up, up. 